Now you were one of Kimbo Slice's trainers. What's your opinion of him as a fighter overall? Yeah, I, oh, Kimbo, well, he came all the way back, you know, right? So because we know some people, so in the first, uh, for his first, first fight, he came to train with us for a lot of time, pretty much all his fights. Um, great guy, great person, always willing to train. Too bad he started getting knee injury. Uh, the, the knee injuries uh, really, you know, it, it was holding him back. He couldn't do a lot on the ground because of his knees. He simply couldn't be on his knees. We were at a friend of mine who was a doctor, who was a knee surgeon, and he would get every three weeks, he would get like shots in his knees because it was hurting him so bad. So I think if he wouldn't have had those knees, you know, so he could focus a little bit more on the ground and, and some reversals that he already did in fights, I was actually pretty amazed with him. And then take that with his manager, Mike, and, and the group that he had around him. Dude, it was so much fun uh, hanging out with these guys. They're, they're hilarious. Everybody's cracking jokes all day long, you know. And, uh, and, and wherever you go with Kimbo, I mean, well, we would do this, for instance. We would go, uh, <clears throat> he was fighting in Texas, in Houston, I think it was. No, no, he was fighting Houston, uh, the fighter. Um, and we were somewhere in a hotel. And he said, hey, let's kill some time. Let's uh, buy some uh, video games. So they went and bought a video console, like a PlayStation, whatever it was. And then they went to the doors. We had all connecting rooms. They opened everything. They put like four TVs together in a circle, like facing out, you know, so that everybody would sit down. And they were just all day long. Everybody was playing video games against each other. But, you know, going to Best Buy and buy the, the PlayStation or whatever it was at the time, I mean, you can't go anywhere with the uh, with Kimbo. I mean, everybody knows this guy. So you walk into the Best Buy, that's it. You know, one person comes, and then the whole freaking place starts. So that was a little hard for him. I can only imagine what it must be for him to go through regular life because everybody recognized him. Now, you, of course, had your fights with Ken Shamrock, and there was that big, I think it was in Bellator, Kimbo against Shamrock. Many people feel that uh, there could have been some underhanded stuff that went on in that fight. What's your opinion of it? No, that was not. He, was, he simply lost. Kim was not a guy who who, uh, who who makes fights or fixes fights. I can tell you that for sure. That's just not the way. If if he loses, he wants to lose for real. If he wants, he wants to win for real. So, no, no, that was great. That was for me great also because I know about my grind skills when I was with – uh, uh, with, of course, training with Kimbo. So for me, that was a fight, Ken, because that was a fight that I always wanted. I wanted uh, to fight Ken again when he came to, uh, to to Pride. You know, I was a commentator, and I told him, I said, listen, I want to I wanna fight him now. You know, because somehow we always thought, he's defending. I, I saw this, uh, Ken was saying that I already knew how to do submissions because I beat somebody with a, with a side joke. And I go, a side joke, guys, I won two fights by a guillotine choke. One with a side choke, which all three are white belt moves. You have to understand also that if, if any fighter, any any striker will notice the, the, the guillotine because that's the first thing you're going to do. So they're going to shoot in. You're going to wrap your arm around his neck because it's the only – they call it the fighter submission. So I was training nine months when I fought him for the very first time, I believe, or 12 months. Or just, I don't know. So, But I train maybe once every three weeks. I had a – had a, a submission class. So that was the difference, you know. And finally, once once Leon Van Dijk came, my buddy who I met in August, I was 94, I believe. That's when I trained, started to training more on submissions. But still, we would do like twice a week. We weren't really going for it. We, you always want to do what you know best, you know, striking because we love this. So let's do the striking, you know. And then when I lost my last fight against Ken, uh, that was like six months after I met Le Leon. That was the moment that I said, okay, you know, now let's just throw all the striking out of the out of the training. We're just going to do four times a week. I will do tight pads for my stamina. And uh, and the rest, we would go two or three times a day. We would start submission fighting. And, and that was it. Then I never lost a fight anymore. So needless to say, when he came to Pride with my new fighting skills, I go, hey, I would, uh, I would love to fight him, you know. So I can, it was the only black page in my book that I didn't set the record straight. But he said, oh, we already did it twice. We don't need to do it a third time. So it didn't happen, unfortunately. But he did fight Tito Ortiz three times. Yep. I guess he just didn't want to give it to you. He probably knew that it'd be more difficult, maybe. Well, it's what he said on our show also against uh, Kenny Rice and myself. He said, well, I've been following his career. But you know what? I have to also say that sometimes 
you know, you say certain things and you, maybe you're not 100% behind it, right? I mean, that that's possible to, to be just a good person. I, I do that. I have done that in the past. So it's very possible. But don't say me that you didn't say it because you did say it, you know. So, but it's okay. It's uh, It doesn't really matter, you know. It's like if you look, Tito, Tito lost for Frank. I beat Frank. And then if you start combing all this back and then with, with Kimbo, you know, okay, I had Kimbo. So for me, everything is okay. I'm 100% happy with everything I do. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.